Hi there. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the module that uh, gives us the opportunity of driving a relay and um, controlling other devices that are too demanding in terms of current or voltage than the Arduino itself can provide. Uh, for example, you might have a, a thing like a, a motor. This motor is probably a I'm not really sure, but it's probably a 12-volt motor, and of course the Arduino only uses a 5-volt supply. So we have to find another way of uh, actuating this motor um, and providing the 12 volts that it needs to run. So this module uses uh, a relay, and if we read here, it's capable of switching a 10 amp device, something that draws 10 amps, at 250 volts AC, so you could use it in Europe or China. Uh, our uh, AC voltage is 120, um, or you could use it for a 10 amp at 120 or 125. So this is the one that we would be using in North America or, uh, or Japan. Uh, so if you want to know, if you've got a, a device that draws a certain wattage, all you do is you multiply the amps versus the voltage and you will get the wattage. So this can handle something over 1,000 watts. So it's pretty impressive that something as small as the Arduino can actually control something which is uh, draws a fair amount of current. Um, but that's, uh, that's maximum draw. Uh, very often when you turn on something like a motor or uh, a heater, this will cause an initial rush of current that will be a higher draw than, could be a higher draw than 10 amps. So you have to be pretty careful and, and be conservative when you design uh, your devices to make sure that the, the uh, relay can handle uh, the peak current demands as well as the regular current demands. Um, you can also drive a 30 volt DC 10 amp device. So rather than using AC, you could drive a DC device as well. And this is just the coding of the particular uh, relay. It's a 5 volt relay. So this is what tells you that you can use 5 volts to make it actually work. So there are two sets of um, uh, pins. These are the controlling pins here, and these are the pins that you would connect to your, uh, your larger device. There's a common pin, and then this one is either normally on or normally off, and this one is the same. So I'm not sure which is which, one of these is normally on, if you connect across here, and then when you turn the relay on, it then switches off, and this is the inverse. These pins are the ones that head toward the uh, Arduino, and if you look carefully, you can see that this pin is for signal, this one is for plus 5 volts, and this is for ground. So the connections are fairly simple. And uh, well, let's, let's actually plug it in and see if we can uh, get it to work. So uh, let's see. I have three pins and I'm going to just indicate them here. I'm not actually going to plug this in yet. Uh, 
the rightmost pin will be ground. The middle pin will be plus 5. And then we'll control the relay using pin 13. I'm not going to put that in just yet. I'm going to plug the module in and maybe, well, if it works, we should hear the relay click. There's also a little LED when you power it up. There it is there. So that's the relay clicking on. So here's our sketch. It's a, a relay demo and it's basically the same thing as the blink sketch, except instead of driving an LED, we'll drive a circuit that closes the relay switch. So uh, it uses uh, D13 to drive the relay. So we have the relay, relay working. We haven't hooked it up to a motor. So I have this motor here and I have, uh, I'm able to plug it in. Okay, so I have a, a 9 volt battery here, and I'll be connecting the minus of the battery to the minus of the motor. And then I'll run from the plus of the motor, I'll run a jumper to uh, one side of the relay. to disconnect this for now. And on the middle contact, I'm going to connect up the plus side of the battery. And hopefully we have a connection here. Yeah. Okay. can see it working here. As it starts up, the torque of the motor uh, makes the motor twitch, which you can hear it as well. So one thing I should mention, the 
the relay uh, module, you pull it out and take a close look at it again. The relay module has some other components in it, and uh, one very important one, which if I put on my glasses, I should be able to point out. Uh, this component right here is a diode. And the diode's very important. It's called a snubber diode. And it prevents back EMF, or back, back voltage, from uh, running back into the Arduino. When you turn on a relay or any inductive device, there's a little coil in here, a coil of wire, uh, and when you uh, put a voltage or a current through this wire, it creates a magnetic field which closes the switch. And that's the thing that you can hear. But when you introduce an electric field, it creates what's called back EMF, which is a, a high voltage, higher than 5 volts, which uh, if, you, if you don't use a snubber diode can run itself back into the Arduino and possibly destroy the controller. So this module has the snubber diode incorporated, incorporated in it, so you don't need to add a snubber diode to this relay. But if you are going to take uh, a relay from somewhere else, for example, I have some relays here. There's a relay. Trying to read that. There's one there other ones here. These don't have the snubber uh, diodes in them, so um, you would have to add, at least add uh, a diode across the, uh, the signal and ground of your, of your relay inputs. Uh, but you don't have a diode in your kit, so uh, this is really it in terms of driving a relay. If you're going to connect this up to household power, and I don't recommend that you do that uh, because it is dangerous and uh, I don't want to you I don't want to be responsible for anyone getting electrocuted. House voltage is very dangerous. It can kill you if you uh, if you don't use it properly. So stick with things like a 9 volt battery and small voltage motors for your relay projects. I guess that's, that's everything. Have fun and see you next time.